Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. According to reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle could be hit by a financial crisis amid fears their big money Netflix deal may not be renewed. After leaving the royal family in 2020, they signed a five-year deal with Netflix. The dueling opinion came despite royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, who warned the Duke and Duchess could face money troubles soon if the arrangement, due to end soon, is not renewed. The couple have a number of projects currently in development including Harry's Polo Show and Meghan's Cookery Show while others are lagging behind. The couple's Spotify deal is said to have fallen apart and there will be no podcasts from Meghan and Lemonade Media until next year. In addition, Fitzwilliams noted the lack of activity by the couple on Netflix since signing the deal, and said that Netflix was no longer interested in anything with the Sussexes. They also do not have a high number of significant donors in their business and charitable foundation RQL, the expert added, which makes their financial worries worse. Megan's plans to return to podcasting have been pushed back to 2025 amid fears it will clash with her forthcoming Netflix series. If one, say Harry's of coming projects and deals with home get taken down and we get to he crunched when it comes time to help may be, a tough place the couple financially. This only highlights the repercussions of their ill-fated decisions. Former actress Meghan Markle, who joined the British royal family before quickly becoming one of its most controversial members, has made a career of bold and occasionally confounding steps awaiting the current figure. Moving to America and trying to become self-sufficient may sound like it would be a high hill to battle, but even with many of their projects and contracts constantly at the mercy of being put on hold, it does not come as close to as nearly any of the obstacles the young Dr. Ling isn't capable of overcoming. Their all-important pact with Netflix, which has helped unlock the cash to pursue something resembling viability, is now up in the air for cancellation. Their efforts continue to face major challenges in relevance and quality despite gaining a high-value pact. And in the case of a sudden firing, Meghan Markle might have to find a new way to make it to the top, offering a stark reminder of the danger of placing too much faith in other people's shine, or their money. These evolutions illuminate the vision of Meghan as someone who fails at everything she sets out to do. Obviously she is very good at making men feel all warm and fuzzy isn't she? And are we sure Meghan herself hasn't thought of pitching a Kardashian-style reality show? A series like that would probably star an awful lot of her stirring up trouble in the kitchen, wearing ill-fitting clothing in the bedroom, making milkshakes, etc. Actually, maybe even Harry would get to let a few things off his chest every once in a while. This should be happening earlier with Netflix and other contracts ending, in my opinion. A tremendous amount of money after inheriting and building up hundreds of millions of pounds is not a place where should have meaningful money problems so it is a little confusing. If I got a paltry one million pounds, I'd invest the money wisely so we could all love comfortably and happily forevermore with financial security. They must reside in reality. On the other hand, Harry and Meghan have made quite a bit of money. What actions can he take? Can he work with the visa he has? Then he completely and immediately stopped paying taxes in the United States, right? Does he pay UK tax on income earned overseas? Could there be a series of revenues from inheritances left over from the Queen Mother and the late Queen does he limit and or autonomously spend of Mackle's cosmetic and fashion expenditures? This is maybe a good place to put a stop to that and have her do some less spending. Is he playing fast and loose with the charity purse, along with his wife? A question that can be asked this particular 45th, are all his expenses, such multiple private jet flights, tax deductible? If so, why would we do that, when it benefits the self and allows you to pay even less tax? Exist literally a multitude of remaining questions left to be answered. The problem is that Harry has no experience of life outside and has therefore never been responsible for things like feeding himself. Everyone knows his father stopped 07 Taylor's phone calls long ago because his son was constantly hitting him up for dough, and apparently the Queen did the same. 
I suppose this might be why someone heard him shouting, just fix it, okay? After he stormed out of the 12-minute meeting with his father, most likely to ask for financial support once more. This content is imported from, embed name, Harry is used to everything he wants being arranged and paid for without any of his own input. Frankly, it's quite absurd. People evolve through talent and hard work and while that individual was bettering himself, Harry has had a career selling out his family and trying to make money from it. He goes on to insist that the media invaded his mother's life, while also calling for an invasion of his own privacy. He speaks paradox and yet still makes millions as a personal brand. Performing PR gestures of environmentalism ensures Harry distances himself from the lifestyle that afforded him opulence and privilege from his birth. He stays in London hotel rooms worth £8,000 a night while the proportion of Britons with as little as £25 to £35 in their bank accounts at the end of every month has been recorded. The rest of us, of course, are subsidizing Harry's carbon footprint and chemical dispersal through our airfares which Omid as a huge fan of them gets a massive kick out of it. It was also re-suggested to him he should just move and pitch a tent at the bottom of Harry and Meghan's garden like some sort of gnome. All they would have to do is blow into a dog whistle, and he would come running up to the house, ears at attention, just waiting to hear what nonsense would fall out of Meghan Markle's mouth, ready to type up and post any aggrieved complaints or victim statements that Harry and Meghan beg him to relay. He or she could fill up instead with a canine tub by the foot of the particular mattress. In this manner, he would be ready to take those notes down at a moment's notice each time one of the 18 articles being bashed out every day was creating a new sob story. Even though they make a point of hiding away from the world they remove themselves from the royal family to escape the tabloid scrutiny, after all, they seem to always be in the middle of trying to secure some kind of press or media attention. Megan, wa einstige weniger bekannte kanadische tv schauspielerin Kleinkarriert, in Beverly Hills 90210 Gabby S. Ein Cuz. The media constantly report unfavorably about them as if they ran after fame or money. A lot of selfish, ugly storytelling surrounds them. They would kill to shut down the free press and just live like civilians with civilian security guards, if they could. They take the royal family down they destroy her with stories. When depicted in this way, it begs the question as to why anyone in corporate or the public sector would want to be associated with such people. It made me wonder about those years in the royal family where everybody bows and scrapes around you and whether, somewhere along the line, Harry developed an absolutely majestic sense of entitlement and now believes he sits at the very center of things and should whoop 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 it up as such. His mindset would never understand how his perception is not unlike a pampered, entitled white man-child retard. The way Megan gets what she wants and never has to work for it is significant, the girl is the veritable poster child for the importance of privilege and wealth, and therefore the ego, in a relationship when neither partner gives a shit about popularity because it's the same thing as infamy. Instead, it is their pretend royal family visits to the US that pays the bill for their travels and security. They are also notoriety seekers when it comes to their charity work. Apart from a tiny word of theirs, people's hope is unimportant. In fact one lastly, did anyone ever seen Harry swaying from side to side, doing a mild shuffle whilst dancing or having fun with issues over in Nigeria? He hardly looked like John Travolta, did he? He looked more of an eligible dance partner for Theresa May on her African tour. They would have been an excellent dance team. Pardon me, shall we trip the light fantastic, madam? They have also managed to keep the cost of security down while visiting Nigeria, a country of concern to the UK Foreign Office. Most of their charitable donations are paid for by their private jet flights. The only freebies provided to them is to attend awards ceremonies or to sit in the eighth row of movie premieres, which are accompanied with a caveat that if they want to participate, they need to put their names on the bills their sponsored guests hand them later. Also, it is almost miraculous that Megan hasn't changed clothing every hour. Three to four outfit changes a day, no biggie. They dabble in drug use and their polo fees are someone else's funds.
Their answer often makes them seem like they must be millionaires putting in an hour of work a week so that they have enough to eat, which says a lot about what they think a lot of other people do all day. While they just want to chill and be cool with the game, they do truly some scam involves to still get some extra dollar dollar dot dollar dollar though in a wrong and fraud way. Instead, the spec scores of 100 million from Netflix and 20 million from Spotify seem to have been very fake news the two were actually paid more like 30 million combined. This is emerging as a farcical side story with their disaster in project after project. They appear to be preparing themselves for the desperate next move of defining themselves as part-time senior working royals, cast out by Her Majesty the Queen whilst also having their cake and eating it as private individuals. It seems Harry, at Meghan's prompting, is trying flex his muscle on Huss old and ailing father, King Charles, before King Charles dies and Prince William takes the crown and that magic trick comes to a halt. So that's all for the main content of today. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.